I think we're going to be in real trouble if we don't get up and deliver then I believe that Democrats are going to lose. We can't just rest on what we've already done. We need to be fighting going forward. There are things that the American people elected us to do, and we still need to get out there and do them. Um, we do that, then we're going to be fine at the elections. Senator Elizabeth Warren there doubling down on her warning to fellow Democrats. Again, she says the party could be seeing big losses in the midterm elections if they don't, in her words, deliver more for voters. She was reacting to President Biden's remarks last week. He told donors he focused on traveling the country to highlight his accomplishments ahead of the elections. But a new op-ed claims voters know the president has broken his promises to them, citing a number of issues including rising crime and inflation. An excerpt here. Inflation took down former President Jimmy Carter in 1980. It may cost the Democrats the House and or the Senate in November of 2022. Here's a recent, recent Gallup poll showing only 41% of voters approve of President Biden's job performance, while 56% disapprove. That is stubborn. Those numbers haven't moved. Those numbers are exactly the same among young voters in a Harvard poll out today. His approval with that demographic down by 18 points from a year ago. Steve Hilton on President Biden and a second term. Yeah, that Biden would be the right choice for America in 2024 is not just absurd, it is frankly offensive. Biden is obviously senile now. Everyone can see that America desperately needs a positive vision to get behind smart policies, to strengthen our economy and society, strong leadership. Who seriously thinks Biden is capable of any of that? He is a weak, corrupt machine politician who stands for nothing and is pushed around on everything by whoever holds the power in his party. And especially the bell there. Can't forget any of it. Ronna McDaniel, chairwoman of the Republican National Committee, great to have you in focus today. Let's start with Elizabeth Warren and what the senator says. She's like, we need to get up and deliver. What exactly is she talking about specifically that's going to turn this around for Dems? Oh, I think Joe Biden has delivered for Elizabeth Warren. He's delivered a catastrophe for our country, an open border, drugs pouring in, uh, crime waves rising. We've seen inflation. We saw them abandon American energy, which has led to high gas prices. I think Joe Biden has absolutely embraced Elizabeth Warren and the progressive wing of his party. And that's why America is in such dire straits right now and looking for Republicans to take back the House and the Senate to course correct what Biden has done. And are they as important as the emphasis from Warren would suggest would be my question and also from what Steve Hilton was saying from Sunday night, all of those things that have led up to this moment, it's more than just a few promises broken. It is. I mean, the fact of the matter is, Harris, the American people are smart. And this is a common sense election versus crazy. Of course, it's common sense that we should tap American energy and use our resources instead of buying oil from Russia. Of course, it's common sense that we should strengthen our law enforcement instead of cashless bail and defund the police like we're seeing from the Democrats. Of course, we should, we should have our border secure. Of course, we should have parents have a say in their kids' classroom. On every single level, Republicans are pushing common sense. Democrats have embraced crazy and people are really hurting. And they are hurting financially. They are worried about their kids. They are worried about our future. There's a lot of angst out there right now. And the American people know that it starts with Joe Biden and the Democrat Party. So I, I saw some reaction to this when the words were spoken a few days ago. And it picked up steam in social media over the weekend as people really started to think this is the Speaker of the United States House, Nancy Pelosi. Um, out of touch? Crazy? I don't know. Watch. If you go to a, a rally and you see a sign saying pro-life, you can bet on the outside it says cut taxes. Mm -hmm. You see one that says um, something about the environment, cut taxes. It's, it's just the way it is. So it, we, have to, we have to just take our country back for America's working families. The Democrats have the White House and both chambers of Congress. Who's she taking the country back from? 
Exactly. I mean, the, every every American right now is suffering from a massive tax increase, and it's called Biden inflation. And we are feeling it at the grocery store. We are feeling it at the pump, and all of it starts with the day one of Biden abandoning American energy and saying we are not going to produce energy in this country, even though we have the resources. We're going to buy 500,000 of barrels a day from Russia, which uh, enabled Russia to get into this war and have the financing against Ukraine. All of it starts with Joe Biden and Democrats embracing the Green New Deal instead of protecting average, hardworking Americans. And they are really, really suffering. And they continue to double down on their policies because they don't care about the middle class. They do not care. And they have shown it time and time again. Uh, media outlet Axios reporting that the infamous far left Congress members known as the squad could be poised for big gains in November, despite the Democrats' likely loss of the House overall. It could point to six very progressive candidates with viable chance, chances to win House seats. One liberal consultant says this is where our politics are headed, not just as Democrats, as a country. Chairwoman McDaniel, your response. Well, Democrats and the progressive wing and AOC and the squad, they want socialism. They want communism. And a lot of that is why, Harris, we're seeing a huge gain with Hispanic voters coming to the Republican Party. Because you know why? Many of them came to this country legally because they were fleeing countries that had socialism and communism. They know what that means. They understand what those buzzwords are because they felt it in their own lives and they give up everything to come to this country. And this is frightening because... They don't want democracy. They don't want capitalism. They don't want the America we know and love. They want to fundamentally rework it, and that's what the Democrat Party is leaning towards, and that's why it's being rejected by voters, not just Republicans, independents and Democrats, and the Republican Party is growing at the highest rate ever. And what would you say right now about President Biden's sinking numbers? I think his numbers reflect what the American people are feeling. And it's finally taking hold that they're they're holding him accountable. For a long time, Joe Biden got a free pass. People thought, oh, he's a nice guy. Well, it's not nice when you're paying $5 at the pump for gas. It's no, not nice when you're paying evil. more for groceries or you can't get a job <laughs> or get people to work for you in your small business that you work so hard yeah. to, to open. It's not nice when parents are called domestic terrorists for caring about their kid's classroom. So Joe Biden's lost the nice guy mantra, and now he owns the disaster. Like you said earlier, Harris, he's batting 1,000% on failure, and the American people are the collateral damage. Yeah, I mean, we, we want our leaders to be successful, because without that, the country suffers, and that's what's happening now. Uh, Ronna McDaniel, thank you very much. So great to see you today. Thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.